or welcome. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Camden Studio. So a few of you have asked some manuals, some bibliographic reference related to excavation, archaeological excavation. So here you go. Let's start. Okay guys, now this is going to be a very, very simple and short video because I just want to present a few fundamental basic publications related to archaeological excavation on the field, hands on, good readings to learn how to excavate. Something else, but not too much else. That's the main topic. There's dozens of other types of, as you can imagine, books related to different parts of archaeological research, archaeological investigation, and we will go through that in other videos. Today, very, very simple, the excavation basics. Okay, let's start. We're going to go through three main volumes, plus two, uh, we could say, a little more updated suggestions, recommendations. Okay, let's start. The first volume I want to introduce you is, I would say, really the fundamental volume, the fundamental book for archaeological excavation. And what is the main aspect of archaeological excavation? Stratigraphy. That's the fundamental word we have to learn. This is the first edition of 1979 of what? The Principles of Archaeological Stratigraphy. By who? Edward C. Harris. And what is presented here, also in other, other uh, editorial places we could say before this, the matrix, the Harris matrix. Oh yes, the foundations. That is the mode, the way to organize, uh, understand, read what is happening in an archaeological context. Now, we're going to go through this type of, uh, of matrix, this type of, of organization in depth on the concept of stratigraphy. Today, I just want to present you the volume. Actually, this was invented, the matrix was invented by Harris in 1973. He then released uh, the basic concept in the World Archaeology Journal in 1975. And finally, after he discussed his thesis, and actually one of his tutors, one of his supervisors, is the author of the upcoming book, suggested him to make a standalone, we could say brief publication on this topic, on the Matrix Harris. So this is, here I have the Italian version, as you can see, because as you know, I'm Italian, we are in Italy, so a lot of publications we have here are in Italian. But uh, as you can imagine, this is still today the fundamental book. And the cool thing, I think, is that this book is available for free online since Edward Harris decided this. There's a dedicated website where you can download the volume in a multitude of languages, not only English, like there's Arabic, French, Spanish, and I mean a lot of languages. So that's very, very cool. Plus also the subsequent publication he made a few years after, in 1993, the practices of archaeological stratigraphy, where he goes more in depth on different types of examples. And these are all free for download in different languages, and I'll put the link below here in the video description, okay? Let's proceed. Okay, our second volume, Supervisor of Harris, but also a pilot in Second World War with the Royal Air Force, English or Royal Air Force, is whom? Philip Barker with the Tecniche di Scavo Archeologico, we would say in Italian, the Techniques of Archaeological Excavation. First released, first published in 1977. Uh, this is, I'm sure for some people, a little dated, but most of it, most of it is still, in my opinion, and not only my opinion, 
absolutely the Bible, the foundations again. This is, this is really what we're still using. This is something more correlated to mm, excavation stra strategies, we could say. There's also other parts dedicated to, um, to how, how, to, how to date things, um, different types of instruments, which obviously are not up to date anymore. But uh, how to decide your excavation, how to use a trowel, how to use other basic hand uh, instruments. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that is still absolutely valid. So make sure to find a copy of this if you're interested together, obviously with the, with the Harris Matrix volume. Absolutely, these are the two most important volumes of all time. You can't miss them. You just can't miss them. They're classics. They're classics. You have to read them if you want to go through archaeology. Oh, I forgot to mention that Barker uh, created this volume based on his two excavations. He was uh, directing, he was developing the uh, Hen Domen and also the Roxeter uh, excavation sites. The first one was transformed in a real school where people, students, university students, fully dedicated to all the different passages in learning how to do things. Well, instead with the, the Roxeter, which was a huge site, there it was more a, an extensive urban type of excavation with other dynamics were taking place. But all that experience is the foundation that you find in here. Let's proceed. Okay, our next volume is coming out of 1991. Obviously, we have various editions during time. It is still in print. We have reached the eighth edition. Also, the other volumes I mentioned are still in print. They are classics. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about Colin Renfrew and Paul Band's Archaeology, Theory, Methods, and Practice. Oh, yes. Now, again, this I'm sure for some of you uh, maybe seen something dated, even though it has been revised and updated during, during time, but it's still absolutely broadly, widely used. Just check a few syllabi around, uh, just some courses on archaeology, anthropology. This, in most cases, is going to be one of the reference books. Now here, we go a little more at a, on a broad scale. It's not just excavation. There are excavation theories, there are lots of case studies. There are lots of discussions on diet, on human remains, on building materials. I mean, there's a lot here, okay? It's a, a comprehensive manual, but I had to put it because it is fundamental for excavation. And if you want to do that extra step on different arguments related to archaeology in general, this is surely a great starting point. Okay, guys, you can't go wrong. Okay, I want to mention, as I said in the beginning, two more volumes, a little more updated. I've, I've seen these uh, adopted by other scholars in the field, so I think it's worth mentioning. It's something, the approach is more similar to this. This is the Italian version, obviously. Uh, so it's a little more comprehensive. It's not fully dedicated to excavation. But nevertheless, they are useful and they're focused on field work. What am I talking about? Well, the first one is Field Methodology in Archaeology, which was firstly released in 1997, but it's still printed today at its 7th edition. Uh, another great text is the Archaeologist Field Handbook, which was released first time in the 2004, and it's still been uh, in print. The first one is by Hester, Schaefer, and Fetter, after read, and the other one, the last one, is by Burke, Smith, and Zimmerman. Uh, again, I think you just need these three guys, but if you want to take a further look at something a little more up to date, these are surely excellent recommendations. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments here below, your questions. Please, if you have other uh, bibliographical recommendations, please leave them here below. We're all interested. Thank you again for watching, and obviously remember that understanding our past defines our future. Bye. Hi guys, if you want to discover more about archaeology and our ancient past from a different perspective, make sure to click on the Camnus logo here below. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will never miss an episode and join the archaeological community in search of the truth.